Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we're in San Diego Bay, gonna try to catch some spotted bay bass, so let's jump right into it. Today we're gonna be going over some of the simplest techniques and easiest way to catch some spotted bay bass. We're gonna be going over some robo worm techniques with drop shot and a net rig. Alright guys, so like I said, we're here in San Diego Bay. Uh, today we're gonna be fishing a drop shot and a robo worm net rig, as you see in my hand right here. Now, uh, some of the most effective ways I've found to fish the drop shot and the net rig are, for example, as you can see right here, in a lot of these uh, structured, shaded places. Now, underneath docks and pilings and uh, maybe sometimes boats, the spotted bay bass like to hide because it gives them shade to kind of for ambush spots. Now, another great way to fish it, over here on my left, is just open water. If you do not have access to dock structure, boat yards, stuff like that, you can always just fish uh, these techniques in open water, which works just as effective. And in these next few clips you'll see, uh, I will catch fish using both of the techniques in drop shot with a Ned Rig, both with structure on docks and in open water. Alright guys, when you're working the bait in a little bit more of open water, like the setting I'm in right now, either from a, a dock or kind of from the bank, off the beach, wherever you're fishing, uh, a great way to fish it is kind of keeping your rod at a 45 degree angle with yourself, maintaining pretty good bottom contact, and just kind of working the bait back to you. Just kind of feeling its way through the water column, not working it too fast, not working it too aggressively. This is generally speaking. And a lot of the times, just kind of bouncing it back to you will lure in the most fish to get the most bites. This one's cool. It's like 2015 or 16. There we go, guys. Working the Ned Rig. Got a spotted bay bass right here. That might actually be. Kind of feels like. Nope. Alright, guys, there you go. Spotted bay bass on that uh, three inch Robo Worm Ox Blood Med Rig. There you go. Feels decent, dude. I think it's alright. Pretty good one. Alright, guys. On that Ned rig, ate that 3 inch Rubble Worm Ox Blood Ned rig. Alright, guys, there you have it. Pitching it right under these uh, docks and pilings. That was probably legal. There he is. In that open water. Now as you saw from that last clip, I was casting the Ned Rig down in between the pilings and kind of under docks. But another great way to catch these spotties is just in open water. As you can see here, my bait was all the way out in the center super open water and the spotties still like to sit out there and bite these net rigs. And there we have it. There he is. Alright guys, got one on the net rig again under this dock. Pitching it right under the dock. Like I said earlier, they like those little shade pockets. Little guy, but if you can see here, he's right under that shade right down here. And that is all there is to it. There we go, guys. Another spotty little guy out in this open water. Hi, bud. Now the actual equipment I'm using today, this is a Phoenix Maxim 7 foot 2 inch rod. Uh, it's rated for about 8 to 14 pound line, which is perfect. I'm fishing 10 pound fluorocarbon to 10 pound braided line. Then the actual reel is just a Shimano Stratic 2500. Now you can fish the Ned Rig and the drop shot on bait casters, but generally I've found since it's a kind of lighter bait, it's easier to fish them on spinning gear. 
Now while you're fishing on structure like docks, boats, anything that has shade, a great way to fish it is just dropping the bait down wherever you think the bass are in this kind of shaded area, letting it sink all the way to the bottom. As you can see right now, the line is still coming off the spool. My bait is still sinking. There we go, hits the bottom. Then slowly give it a few bounces, then retrieve it back up to the surface. Now make sure to watch your line. Oh, oh, we just got bit there, guys. Now make sure to watch your line as it sinks, because a lot of the times, there we go. Oh, and we just got bit again. Oh, he broke me off under these, uh, <laughs> these clamps. Perfect example on why you need to pay attention and not get broken off. All right, guys, I'll go ahead and show you how to rig up the actual Ned rig. Here I have my 3-inch Roboworm Oxblood Light Red Flake, and then just a 3-8 uh, ounce actual just little Ned head. Uh, I don't really fish a specific brand. I think this one's Ned Lock. Anything really works. So you're going to go ahead and tie on, or sorry, not tie on, thread on the bait straight to the point of the hook on the top side, push it all the way through. It's going to naturally pop out right about where it should, like so. Push it all the way up, and usually as you can see right here, there's going to be a little wire that's holding it back, so you push that over that wire so the bait will stay and not pull off when you get a fish. And there you go, your nice straight Ned Rig ready to go. Alright guys, wrapping things up today. A Ned Rig and a Drop Shot, particularly from Roboworm, are a great way to catch uh, a bunch of species of fish in both salt and fresh water. Uh, get out there, get yourself some Roboworm, and you will catch more fish. If you learned something from this video, please drop a comment and subscribe below. And I'm Noah Sanford, we'll see you in the next one.